Hi everyone, it's me Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to show you my pokey tools that I made. I had actually started the video a few weeks ago, but I got interrupted and I had to restart it. So today I decided to show you how I glue it together. So I will start with this here and I will give you a quick tour of how I did this. So this is a needle. The needles come like this. And what I do is this E6000 glue, I love it. I have a big tube of it but I like the smaller tube because it seems like you save your glue a little bit more. So usually I use some kind of a cap on top. Like here I have one. Here I have this one. And I think I'll do the same here. But I'm going to start with this here. Okay. So I'm just going to go up all the way and twist it. Then I put my bead and I will twist it. I need a little bit more glue here, so I'm going to go there and just twist it. So now I'm going to use this here. And just twist. And now I have the bigger one. And these needles I got through Amazon. I'll leave the link on the bottom. I'm now affiliated with Amazon. So if you do click on it, it doesn't cost you anything extra but you will be helping me out, which in turn, I'm actually going to be helping some kids that need some help. So, that's a bigger glob, so now you see how I'm working it? There. You just twist. I think I'll do this. Or do I just wanna put this? I think I'll do the silver. I believe these are called spacers. I'll double check. Okay. So how is everyone doing? So these are a lot of fun. If you're wondering what these are for, you can pull your stickers off easier without trying to use your fingernails. Also, if you have a quick cut machine and the adhesive is in the paper you need to separate, perfect tool to have. And they're fun. You can make these, give them away. Yes, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll do this. These beads I got at Joann's. They're the Heidi, Heidi and Joe, I believe. So there you go. I'm gonna do the white one. I need to go a little bit longer because this bead's a little longer. I had quite a few crazy months. May was crazy. You know, you have Mother's Day, my in-laws anniversary, my birthday, all that. 
And then June comes around and oh my niece's birthday was also in May. Then June comes around, my sister's 60th birthday, which my baby sister and I will get together with her soon. And went to go see my daughter in Florida my grandsons that was so much fun so there you go one two three four one two three four five so you could make it like this now you'll want to let it dry so just prop it there well pardon me while that drying what i think i'll do i'll show you how to glue another one this one What I did was I bought flowers. You can buy the smaller ones. And I just put the flower right through it. You can do the same with the needle. <coughs> Pardon me. Same with the needle. This is a scribe. So what I'm going to do now is do this same thing. I think I'll do it this way because it looks like a little hat. Okay, and the reason I use E6000 glue because it's the best glue ever when it comes to jewelry making. Unless you have a, another favorite, then use your, use the one you feel that you like the best. There's another little spacer. Okay. And then I'm going to use this pink one and put a little bit more glue. Let me go there. Another little spacer. And you don't have to use the spacers, you could use just beads. I think I'll use the pink one. And remember, use what you love. It's your colors, your everything. Do I want to do that? No, you know what? I am going to use the white. Another little spacer. Turn it. Turn it. Now I'll use the pink one. There we go. A little spacer. Do I want it this way? Yes. bit more here there we go so see aren't they cute so now I will let these dry I will let this one dry too and you could put an earring cover so you won't poke yourself but right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this earring cover all the way to the top to hold my beads in place since I'm going to play with this. What I did was I put this through the eye of the needle, but it needed more. So now what I did, I made a tassel. Okay, I made a tassel. I tied it with this, I put this together, and I tied it with this, and it has a jump ring. The jump ring, I'm actually going to put it through here. 
Let's see how I can do this a little bit easier. So I'm going to pull my snug hug and put my tassel. See the jump rings there? So I could put a little drop of glue if I want to. It could be this. Or actually, it could be any little type of glue. And then I'm going to tie it. And I'm going to retie it. And there. Now you have a nice tassel one here. And you could make it as fancy as you want, as thick as you want. There you go. I added some charms. I'll show you really quick. I added some charms. On a chain and then I added this the star a key and then a little flower so for now that's what I wanted to show you what I was working on uh, I hope you like this please remember to subscribe and put a thumbs up thank you so much and if you want any of these I will put the link in the description box. Have a wonderful day.